Behind me, I have the Red Therapy Co. Red Rush 840 Pulsed Panel. This is a new generation panel from a company that's actually been in the red light therapy space for numerous years. Now this new generation panel actually has a lot of things going for it. I'll reveal all of those in my pros and cons section later in the video, so hang around for that. But there is one big disadvantage to this company and it's actually gonna eliminate a lot of potential bias. Now let me turn this panel off. What I'm gonna do is share the key features, test it with my devices, share my pros and cons, provide some feedback on my own personal use, and then finally help you decide whether this is the best red light therapy panel for you. Okay, so first up, what do you need to know about the new Red Rush 840 Pulse Panel? Well, this is the bigger brother to the Red Rush 400 panel. I've reviewed that in another video. Go check that out if you want something smaller or a little bit cheaper than this one. Of course, the 840 is a much more practical size when it comes to red light therapy panels. This is what I'd class a wall panel. Obviously at the moment it is hanging from the wall, but you can also use it on a floor mount stand or hang it from the back of a door or just lean it against the wall. Now this new line has an integrated control panel and timer in the front of the panel, which is a nice addition. Some people don't like the buttons and the timer on the front of the panel because it takes up valuable space that could be used for LEDs instead. But it's not necessarily a problem here because these panels aren't modular capable. So you can't get two of these and clip them together and wire them all up. It's just not a feature, which is a bit of a bummer, but it means the control panel on the front isn't an issue. Now all internals have been upgraded. There's a new EMF blocking cage. So it'll be interesting to see the EMF numbers later on in the piece. The internal drivers, the LED chips, and also the LED lenses are all improved, which means we should be seeing more power, which I'll test soon. Now it's called the 840 as it has 240 three watt LED chips in it. So if you go to 40 times three, you get 840. What's interesting though, is I plugged in my wattage meter and that was giving me a reading of only 400 watts. So even though there's three watt LED chips in here, you're not getting the full potential out of them. Now the panel itself is 38 and a half inches tall. That's including this top panel with no LEDs and 10 and a half inches wide. It also comes with three different pulsing options for the near infrared light. There's a 10 Hertz, 20 Hertz and 40 Hertz. And then of course your continuous light mode. Finally, it's emitting two different wavelengths, your red light and your near infrared light. So what I'm gonna do now is get out my spectrometer. We're gonna see exactly what wavelengths have been emitted plus test these power numbers. Okay, as you can see on screen here, there are two big peaks of light. We have the red light peak, which is coming in pretty much bang on 660. I think it's 659 there, which is really good. And then we have the near infrared peak, which is coming in at around 853. So you've got your traditional 660 and 850 nanometer light. One thing I'll mention, it was actually quite hard to get a reading that showed two nice peaks like this. Most of the readings I were getting had a high peak of red and not much near infrared or vice versa. And that was also true for the power numbers, which I'm gonna share with you soon. Uh, there was a lot of variance at that six inch mark. So this tells me we're not getting the nice blend of light that we see in some other panels. But remember this is for six inches. As you go further out, it may be better. In my end of year comparison, I will be doing light coverage tests and including all of this data for this panel and every other panel that I've tested this year to determine which panel is the best overall. So be sure to subscribe to check that out. Okay, so what about the power numbers? Now, Red Therapy state on their website that this has a max power figure of 250 milliwatts over centimeter squared and 100 milliwatts at six inches. Okay, so for a peak reading, I had 91 milliwatts over centimeter squared. This is a little bit lower than the 100 milliwatt reading, but not too far out. As for an average across the panel, which remember is a more reliable and useful figure came out to be 76.5 milliwatts over centimeter squared. So that is quite a lot lower than the listed 100 milliwatt figure on the Red Rush website. Now the total power output was 129.8 watts. What do all of these numbers mean? What well, actually means it's quite a powerful panel. If you head over to lighttherapyinsiders.com and check out the shopping tool, you can actually see how this panel ranks against all sorts of other red light therapy wall panels. And you'll see that these numbers are up and also a big jump and improvement on the previous generation of red therapy co-panels. Okay, so now what about EMF and sound? EMF was great, no issues there, which is a massive improvement on the previous generation panels. So good work, Red Therapy Co. Sound on the other hand, wasn't great. It came out to be 62 decibels. It's actually quite high. I used to always think anything under 60 was good, but we're seeing panels now under 50. So 62 is up there. It's not a bad sound. I have had some panels in the past that are just frustrating to be around. This wasn't bad, but it was loud. Okay, now that we know all of this, how much is this Red Rush 840 gonna cost you? Well, it retails for $1,295. Now, Red Therapy Co. have given me a discount code and that code is Alex and it's gonna save you $25 
which means you can get it for a discounted price of 1270 US dollars. Even better, that includes free shipping to American addresses. If you live outside of the USA, unfortunately, you're out of luck. You see, Red Therapy Co. don't ship internationally. So if you've been watching this and you're really excited, it is a bit of a blow. Now that we know the price figure, we can do a value calculation. It came out to be $9.47. That means you're spending $9.50 for one watt of therapeutic red light. And to be honest, that number is actually really good. Anything under 10, I think is a great value. What about optional accessories? You can get a floor mounted stand for $100 extra, which is actually, again, really good value for a stand. Typically we're seeing two, three, $400 for stands. I should note though, this is just a generic TV stand. However, it works really well with the Red Rush 840, so there's no issues there. And then following up on that, there aren't any horizontal stands. So if you wanna use this while lying down, unfortunately, it's not possible. Finally, it comes with a two year warranty and a 60 days return period. Okay, so what do I like about the Red Rush 840? Well, there's actually quite a few things, so let's run through them. First up, we have the free shipping for Americans. We also have that $100 stand, which is quite, quite good value. It has really good power output, so you're gonna get a decent dose of light if you're standing further away from the panel, or better penetration if you're up close. There was no EMF, though I should mention this is kind of the standard with panels these days, but still, it's a good plus. There's a couple of pulsing options in here, however, it's only for near infrared light, and it's a predetermined pulsing rate. If you wanna customize the pulsing rate, you're out of luck with this panel. It's got a nice built-in carry handle at the back, and then finally, I do need to say that this control panel is nice to use and the numbers are nice and large. I know in the past I've criticized panels that have the control system on the front, but because this is a standalone panel, you're not gonna clip multiple ones together. It's not actually a bad thing. And then finally, we have the great value at $7.47. It's right up there. Okay, now for the things I don't like. First up, if you wanna buy this, you have to be living in America. So that's gonna drastically limit who can buy this panel and it is a bit of a bummer. Next, I do like the size, 10 and a quarter inches wide. However, I am leaning more towards these wider panels after doing some of my light coverage testing recently. So some people may see the 10 inches as still being too narrow. There are other panels out there that are 12 or even 15 inches across. Two year warranty is on the shorter side. Most companies now are offering three years. The good thing is though, Red Therapy Co have been in the business for a long time now. So you are dealing with an established company. No modular support means you're kind of limited to one panel. If you want to get another one, you have to hang it separately, do all the timers separately. You can't buy this one and expand every six months like you can with other products. There's no included manual. Instead, you get a small leaflet with a link to download the manual. Yeah, that leaflet does have the quick start tips, but still, I always prefer having a hard copy manual included in the box. You may also notice that the power cord comes out the side here. It's a bit of an eyesore. I've managed to tuck away the power cable. Otherwise, it would just simply be hanging off to the side. Personally, I think it's always better when the power cable is coming out the back. It means the cord can be tucked away and hidden, especially if you're gonna be leaving this on your wall. The lack of horizontal stands may also put a few people off buying this panel. You're only limited to hanging it from a door, from the wall, or with the horizontal floor mount. Finally, there's no remote or Bluetooth control. It's also quite loud at 62 decibels. And the other con is you're only getting 660 and 850 nanometer light. Now I've talked about this many times in my reviews over the years. These are well-researched and therapeutic wavelengths that are gonna work. However, there's a lot of research showing that other wavelengths are also quite beneficial and some people do want to tap into these other wavelengths. So if you're wanting one of those wavelengths, then the Red Rush 840 isn't for you. Overall then, who's this for and should you buy it? Well, I can think of a couple of people that may like this panel. First up, I have someone that wants a well-priced, medium-sized wall panel that comes with a floor stand option and lives in the US. Secondly, it may suit someone who wants a simple to use, simple to set up, well-priced red light therapy panel. Again though, you have to be living in the US. And thirdly, combining these two points, I actually think this could be well-suited to an elderly person or say, if you're watching this and you're looking for a panel for your mother or your grandparents, this could actually take a lot of boxes. Now hear me out. The fact that there's no bells and whistles and fancy control screens and Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity actually makes this an appealing prospect for a lot of people. Also, the fact that the control panel's easy to see, it's on the front, the buttons are all self-explanatory and easy to use, plus you have this large timer in the center here. All of this means it could be a great panel for the elderly or for someone who just wants a red light therapy device without all the bells and whistles and complexity. Of course, you're not getting that nice printed manual that I always recommend for newcomers, but if you are buying this for someone else, you can always give them a rundown 
And once they're up and running, it's quite simple to use. But what happens if you're not in one of those camps? Should you buy this? Do I recommend it? Well, in all honesty, it's actually quite a good overall panel. Sure, it's not gonna win the design awards or have all the bells and whistles that some of the top brands have. But overall, in terms of great power, great value, simple to use, it is quite a good option. However, before you rush out and buy this, it is always important to look at what else is out there. Now, the first thing I need to know is if you live outside of the US, then you're probably better off finding another product. Sure, you could use a freight forwarder, but you're gonna pay a lot of money. So you need to check out options such as Platinum LED, Mito Red Light, Infrared, Block Blue Light, all of these companies have warehouses located across the world. Some of them offer free international shipping and they also offer great warranties, great support. And they have a product range that has a lot more bells and whistles than that you have in the Red Rush product. If you're not worried about bells and whistles, then another option to check out is the Huga Health product range. I've reviewed a couple of these panels. They're also simple to use, maybe too simple because they don't actually have built-in timers, but they provide great value again and they have international shipping options. Now, I do recommend checking out my review of some of these panels. Up here, I'm gonna link to one of the most popular panel reviews. You can go check that out before you decide what you're gonna buy. Of course, if you have any questions, leave them below or jump in our Facebook group and I'll be happy to answer them.